How's it going everyone? It's your boy Cov Plays FIFA. In today's video I'm going to be bringing you two builds. I'm going to be bringing you the best cam build and central mid build we'll be using competitive FIFA Pro Clubs. And you can also use this in small man, it doesn't really matter. But this is a competitive build and it is really good for free kicks, long passes, box to box defending. You almost have 80 plus in every single stat so this is a really good all rounder. And again you have set speed, uh, set piece specialist, skill dribble out and threaded pass meaning this build can pretty much do all the passing from all across the field. So I do recommend giving this a go if you're an 11 uh, v 11 player or even someone who's in small man and just wants to dictate the lines and play between the lines like a Thiago or a Jorginho, something like that, and also score free kicks like Alexander Arnold. It's a really good build, as you can see. It's got very balanced stats, decent strength, decent dribbling, four-star skills so you can even beat defenders and get past people in the midfield as well which is a priority if you ask me if you're in a competitive nature you do need to beat people with skill moves otherwise you're going to be sitting there being way too predictable and you're going to lose the ball in key areas and again as a midfielder it's very important that you do not lose the ball in key areas because this is a build for basically dominating the midfield like an angola and box to box or a, a one out or something like that you know if you've played ultimate team over the years having that a really good box to box build what could do almost everything this does help and especially if you're in like a free uh line say for instance a four three three you have a player like this in that midfield it really does help and again with the cam build which we're going to be showing you this cam build is really good you can use it as a left or right attacking mid you can use this as a left or right wing if you were to change it you can use this as a central mid as well if you really want it to be that attacking sort of only just like I said, assisting sort of player this again i have made a five for eight cam build before but this is definitely the best way to make it i've said before do try the cam because it is an underrated build for some reason so many people frown upon cam but for me it is definitely one of the best builds to be using it does feel that extra bit unique as well with the dribbling and the balance just seems to be exceptional with a cam build so when you're moving on the ball pressing the lb for that uh, face up dribbling your feel with the cam it just seems to make that player feel an extra bit more crisp and when you're doing passes it just seems to feel like they move this extra bit quicker as well so it's the same as striker like you have, i have a theory that you know whatever build you use there's always like a key characteristic and the cam seems to be that one when it comes to getting the assists and even getting a few goals here and there again you can still shoot you can still do free kicks with this build so I do recommend trying this out again, guys. If you can leave a like on the video, as always, that would be really, really great. And to maybe so, so, uh, subscribe if you haven't already, because I'm going to be posting more builds soon. The CDM build will be coming out tomorrow, so keep an eye on that. It's a very good build, small variety style build. Keep an eye on that. Take it easy, guys. Hope you uh, enjoy the build.